Debbie Georgiatis is with us right now. Government shutdown threat from the Syria refugee fight emerges as the government is threatening to shut things down. A Fox News contributor, political strategist, author of Ladies, Can We Talk? America Needs Our Vote. Debbie's on the line here with us. Uh, Debbie, what's the story here? Uh, are we talking about another government shutdown here because of this nonsense? Morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yes, I think that there is potential for a shutdown. It is a December 11th deadline on the omnibus spending bill. And I think, again, it is one of the issues where the GOP has, under the Constitution, the power of the purse, which is to provide funding or not. And they are up against President Obama's uh, insistence on bringing more Syrian refugees to America on the Refugee Resettlement Act. And so the uh, the concern uh, currently 60% of Americans have, saying why are we bringing them here at this time, given that what's happening around the world? Uh, can't we help them somewhere else and not in America? So they're, they're really, again, the GOP in Washington, the president butting heads. And I really, I think the biggest unfortunate uh, aspect of all this is that Republicans have not to date done a good job of in any way shifting the blame and public thought about who's doing the shutdown. Yeah, isn't I mean, that the you, truth? Yeah, go ahead. And, uh, I'm just going to say, Gov- uh, Fox News contributor, political strategist, uh, Debbie Georgiatis with us this morning here. In fact, Debbie, I think you can tell from who's leading in the polls uh, that, the, that the America is sick and tired of, of our government. There's a study right now that says only 19% of Americans trust their government. Yes, sounds high to me. You know, it's a funny thing, too, though, as this whole uh, refugee issue has been in the forefront of people's thinking, especially after the Paris attacks and watching how the president and those in charge of our national defense responded to it. um, I just think there's a a growing frustration among the American voters saying, I don't care what it takes. I want to see that our government's doing everything we can. And so uh, to stop these this march of Islamic terrorism around the world. And so if you look at this situation, whether we're doing enough abroad or doing it well or should be doing something different, it's an entirely different question than bringing people here who even the head of the FBI has said we have no ability to vet. This is just a nonsensical non-starter to most Americans. And so I think even though the shutdown thing is something no one likes, both sides do not care for it, I think the Republicans have the upper hand on this. I think as Donald Trump's numbers go up, it is a message to the GOP in Washington, you really better show you can stand up against the president on this time, because this is national security. This is not a, you know, this is not a fuss about Obamacare or some other issue that's important, but not the same level of importance as national security. Indeed. Uh, we're talking with Debbie Georgiatis here this morning, who is a Fox News contributor and a political strategist. Uh, uh, Debbie, the, the uh, we were just talking with John Decker of Fox News at the White House, saying this is the first time we can remember, you know, France taking the lead on anything. Uh, and uh, the, you would expect the United States to, to be taking the lead. That's what we're supposed to be doing. But uh, Charles Krauthammer's op-ed on Saturday, which he says, o- Obama's phony war against terrorism, says that the president has been sort of, you know, just totally passive about this at his comp- news conference in Turkey last Last week was marked by quote a stunning tone of passivity, detachment, and lassitude, uh, compounded by the uh, impatience and irritability. Boy, I think that news conference. I wish that there'd be some pack or somebody who would just take that news conference and President Obama's not just his words, his tone, and demeanor, and just run it as an ad in all the few days because I think that it just Americans. They want to believe our president is on our side. They want to believe he loves yeah. America, that he's protecting America. But the tone of, I think those are brilliant words Charles Crowdham used. It just, I don't have that article in front of me, but, you know, indifference and irritation. How dare people challenge my authority? I've decided this. I think, I think this is uh, something that the GOP really should capitalize on because it's not, it shouldn't be a partisan issue. It should no. be. We in America want our country to feel safe. But I think there's going to be increasing pressure on President Obama from members of the Senate and the U.S. House who must face re-election next year saying, I cannot go back to my voters and say, yes, I went along with the president. I'm bringing more people here who could potentially mean us harm, who your own FBI says we can't vet. It's a losing issue for the Democrats. It's just breathtaking that Hillary, at least at this point, is right on track with President Obama. Mm-hmm. 
Indeed, and and the fact that uh, the, the the Republicans don't have the guts to use that stuff uh, against them is is just amazing. And they keep shooting themselves in the foot when things are handed to them on a silver platter. Uh, Debbie, always a pleasure talking with you. We'll be back in touch. Great talking to you. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Debbie Georgiatos with us, who is author of Ladies, Can We Talk? America Needs Our Vote, Fox News contributor and political strategist. She's good.